All right, 506 now. New at 5, Governor Jeff Landry just released the names of the people expected to lead a task force focused on improving the issues at the Sewage and Water Board. WDSU reporter Shay O'Connor live from the Sewage and Water Board main office with the plan that Shay is already receiving some pushback. Good evening to you, Travers and Jeter. Yeah, that list came out not too long ago. Now, at least two of the people of the seven released by Governor Jeff Landry so far have local ties while others don't. Meanwhile, I've spoken with several council members who say they're not impressed by this task force. Billing issues, flooding and crumbling infrastructure. It's issues facing the Sewage and Water Board of New Orleans. Governor Jeff Landry announced his appointments to a task force he hopes will help. Among those names, Paul Rainwater, once appointed acting director of Sewage and Water Board, and Garton Dove, appointed as chairman of the CRPA, who once served as the parish president of Terrebonne Parish. Landry allowing different corporations like GNO Inc. and the Business Council of New Orleans to have their own appointments. So far, no New Orleans council members have been named. And if you have a board, a task force tasked with fixing something, you need to have someone on there who thinks something's broken. The people that are currently on this task force are people who have publicly stated over and over again the Sewage and Water Board is doing a great job. Council members say for at least two years, they've been fighting with Sewage and Water Board of New Orleans for reform, so it seems unfair. Well, there seems to be this effort to want to disparage uh, leadership, specifically African-American leadership in New Orleans Parish. Councilman Oliver Thomas chairs the Public Works Committee for the city, responsible for helping to maintain streets and drainage. Uh, no one understands the challenges with Sewage and Water Board better than the people who live here and the people who are trying to work to overhaul the system and fix the system that has been neglected for a long time. Still people like Elizabeth Thomas Winston say something more needs to be done to lower water bills. Wednesday, she was inside the office trying to get answers. They need some accountability. They need a board to show accountability to where our taxpayer dollars are going. And we're still expecting seven more names to be released soon. And now the task force is expected to come up with recommendations for the board within 30 days. Meanwhile, Sewage and Water Board, they say that they welcome this. I'll have much more on this at 6 p.m. Reporting live from Sewage and Water Board of New Orleans, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.